Hey everyone, welcome back to our weekly favorites. So let's just jump right into it. First up this week, we've been loving this micellar water by Botanics. I think that's the brand name. Yeah. Um, it's called the All Bright with Hibiscus Micellar 3-in-1 Cleansing Solution for All Skin Types. Um, they sent this to us and we've both really been loving it. It's so of, good and it's a drugstore brand. Yeah, it's drugstore. I think they sell it at like Walgreens. I think it's about yes. 7 or $8. Dollars. Yeah, and um, we're kind of picky with micellar waters. We've oh, yeah. tried a lot. I love the Bioderma, the sensitive yeah, skin. Yeah, that's the only one I've ever really liked. I do mm -hmm. buy the Garnier waterproof one just to take off lipstick, like mm -hmm. matte liquid lipsticks. But this I feel comfortable using all over my face. Yeah, um, we use it on our eyes to get off mascara, and it doesn't burn. Like, some do burn Well, the first ingredient is water, which is nice, because we know it's gentle then. Yeah, it's just very gentle, but also very effective. Like, I, if I have a heavy makeup day, I'll always go with cleansing oil or cleansing balm, but then if I'm like, oh, I just feel like I didn't get it off, I'll go in with this before yeah. cleansing again. And I like am shocked sometimes how much this gets off yeah. after I've already cleansed with it. It doesn't oil. have a scent, I don't think. Mm -mm. No scent, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's just a really it's good. It's a really good micellar. micellar water. Like after the Bioderma one, this is my favorite, and it's too. probably half, maybe even a third of the price. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely really good, good deal. Next up is something that goes along with the micellar water. These are just cotton rounds, and we were buying like the Target brand, their up and up brand ones mm -hmm. for so long, just because we go to Target's so often and they're there. But I was so sick of them because they just fall apart. They, they do. Fall apart. They fall apart when you're rubbing your face. Yeah, they're so cheap, and it's fine because they are inexpensive. But I just wanted something better that wasn't expensive, and I saw these on Amazon. It was six of these bags for ten dollars, which is absurd. It's so cheap, and there was two reviews, but both people gave them five out of five stars, and I was like, that's enough for me. I'm just gonna try them, and they're really, really nice. And I don't know how many come in here. The brand is Mar, wait, Marmara, Marmara, and it says they're like Turkish cotton rounds. And I'll just open this bag so you can see one. Um, but they are like a true cotton material, like they're thicker and they have like a seam on the end. So you can tell it's like two pieces of cotton kind of stitched together and they're just thick. Like I can go like this and nothing's happening. They're so durable. They're super durable. They don't break apart on your face. I use them for my nails and they like hold up really well with nail polish remover. I'm just shocked at the price like how inexpensive they are and i don't know i mean I'm, things on amazon do go up in price sometimes so maybe i just found like a good opportunity but highly recommend these for an inexpensive cotton round okay next is the sugar well it's the fresh sugar lip balm this is the one with sunscreen and it's the shade candy and i so i normally wouldn't spend a lot on lip balm i got this at work so I didn't pay for it, but I would buy it because number one, it has SPF 15 in it, which I think is just so good for summer. I switched out my normal lip balm I was using for this in my bag and I've just been loving it because when it gets sunnier, like you always forget to protect your lips. Yeah. And so I love that it has SPF and it has a really beautiful tint. So it's like this bright pink color. I can swatch it. Maybe you can see. It's kind of like a magenta, like a pink purple blend. And it just leaves your lips with a really pretty color, a really pretty sheen. It's super hydrating if you tried the fresh lip balm. They're you awesome. Know. Yeah, like how just like hydrating and beautiful they are. Does it have it the lemon really scent? good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all smell so good. They smell so good. And I feel like it will last me a long time. Like I've already used this. I've had this for a while. And um, it, I go through it very slow because as you can see, like it's pretty high impact and just spreads really nicely. They're really just great lip balms. Okay, next up is a blush. This is, we really like doing these videos by the way because we know in our monthly favorites we try to stick to beauty and skincare, mm -hmm. but these weekly favorites is like what we've been using that week. So mm -hmm. a lot of it is like shopping our stash and mm -hmm. using things that we wouldn't normally use on a daily basis. So in that, I was um, looking for a blush that I hadn't used in a while. I don't know why I can't open this. And I found this one in my collection. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Apricot in the Middle. It's like this stunning peachy nude, I would say. I peachy love nude it. shade. And um, I was like, oh, I haven't used this in so long. I don't know why. And so I tried it. And I'm not wearing it today because it is peachy, so it didn't really match my shirt or the rest of my makeup. Um, but it's so stunning. It's like a sheen wash of peach on the skin and it does have like micro shimmers in it not glitter but shimmer um so it just looks super healthy and glowy and it it just blends in with the skin so nice because it does have those like warm undertones 
It is just a stunning blush for the price. I think this is like $3. Yes, yeah. it? It's amazing. We talked about this when we first got it two yeah. years ago in July. We were on vacation and we were at a, what is the store? Meyer yeah. in Michigan. And they had them and they were like the new um It just says new formula. Yeah, and I remember I picked it up and used it the whole vacation. I was obsessed and then Britta got it and it's definitely the prettiest shade in the whole wet and It is range. so pretty and yeah, so we just like doing that because we've been using products that we've had for a long time and just forgot how much we love them. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can share them with you and then you'll go buy them. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, we keep forgetting to put this in a weekly favorites yeah. because it's something we've loved for like the past year, but it's a podcast and it's called How I Built This. It's by NPR and it's hosted by Guy Raz. Is that mm -hmm. how you say his last name? He's an amazing host. Have we put it in monthly favorites? I don't even know. Maybe, I don't even think so, but it is our favorite thing. Like more than any show we like, yeah. we love this podcast. And it's basically a series where a guy will interview entrepreneurs and um, like innovators and just people that have started their own business and really taken an idea and like blew it up and they're all so inspirational. And it's crazy it's how relatable they are. It's not mm -hmm. like stuffy, I don't wanna say all CEOs are like super corporate and like speak to you, speak down to you, you know? Um, but these people are just so relatable, like living their American dream and they just kind of tell you the story of like how they built their empire and in, in a really like digestible way. Yeah, and there's a range. Like there's people like Mark Cuban who have started multiple companies and he's just like so well known that they did an interview with him. But then there's also smaller businesses like Jenny's Ice Cream. If you're here in LA, we love Jenny. Yeah. They did one for her and so you get like a range of people that has sort of kind of like small specific businesses and then people that have just built huge empires. It's just such a great podcast. So like, good. Highly recommend. If you're ever feeling lost, like you don't know what to do, yeah. what path to go down, listen to it. Some of our favorites, because they, um, they're they titled by what they started. So yeah. Airbnb was one of our favorites. For sure. Home Depot we just listened to. Love him. Mm -hmm. He's hilarious. So, so good. I feel like Dermalogica, I love that one if you're into beauty. Spanx could still be our favorite. Spanx might be our favorite. Because she was one of the first ones and she's a female. And just her story and her passion and her drive to like get her product in front of people was amazing to hear. They're all so good. They're all so good. You have to listen to it if you haven't already. And that's it for our weekly favorites. We'll see you next week.